convey the layer information of the MOS transistor circuits. So let us proceed what exactly uh, we'll know about what exactly the stick diagrams are and uh, how to draw the stick diagrams that is what uh, today's topic is. Now coming to the objectives to know what is meant by a stick diagram we are going to see what exactly a stick diagram is. To understand the capabilities and limitations of the stick diagrams to learn how to draw a stick diagram for a given MOS circuit. These are all the objectives what we are going to cover in this particular video session. At the end of this video you will be able to draw a stick diagram for a simple MOS circuits. Now, so always the VLSI aims to translate the circuit concepts onto the silicon. So whenever we are talking about the VLSI designing, so it is nothing but whatever the circuits which we are uh, designing that should be translated onto the silicon. So for that the stick diagrams are very useful. So stick diagrams are the means of capturing topography and layer information using the simple diagrams. So the outer structure of the circuit is represented in the form of some color codes. So that's why these are called as stick diagrams. So to represent the different layers of the uh, uh, circuit we are going to use some colors that is the stick diagrams convey the layer information through some color codes and it also act as an interface between symbolic circuit and actual layout and what exactly the stick diagrams are going to show means they will show the relative placement of the components means uh, uh, tentatively approximately where the components will be and goes one step closer to the layout almost it looks like a layout but not a layout and it also helps in helps uh, plan the layout and routing so this is what uh, the stick diagram shows and it also shows the components and wires so on the whole I can say that a stick diagram is a cartoon of your layout so a cartoon means it looks like an actual layout but it is not the layout with it, which is not having the proper dimensions so what it is not going to show it is not going to show the exact placement of the components it is not going to show the transistor sizes it will not show the wire length wire width or tub boundaries and any other low level information that means it shows only the rough sketch how the actual layout is so as i said that it will be represented the different layers will be represented using some color codes now here we can see some color codes for each and every layer so metal is always represented with a blue color and polysilicon is always represented with a red and a diffusion and diffusion particularly it is represented with green and P diffusion particularly represented with a brown and similarly the buried contact and contact cut so here we have standard notations for each and every encoding now if we see the NMOS encoding here so NMOS encoding shows the end diffusion as green and polysilicon red and blue is metal and a contact cut with a black circle and there is one more called as implant. This implant is used to represent a depletion mode transistor and a buried contact is used with a brown color and NMOS enhancement mode transistor if you see here the polysilicon when it is crossing the uh, and diffusion that represents the NMOS enhancement mode transistor whereas coming to the depletion mode transistor a polysilicon crossing the diffusion with an implant over it uh, that shows the depletion mode transistor so either a polysilicon crossing the diffusion or diffusion crossing the polysilicon both will represent the transistor similarly coming to the PMOS encoding except that end diffusion the remaining things will be almost same and in place of your end diffusion we are going to use a P diffusion which is of brown color. Now uh, coming to the CMOS encoding as CMOS is a complementary metal oxide semiconductor here a different notation we are going to use for a P diffusion I am going to use NLO for uh, uh, metal 2 I am going to use a dark blue or purple color and for a wire I am going to use a circle black circle and uh, there is one thing called as demarcation line so to separate the pull up network and pull down network we are going to use a demarcation line so n type enhancement mode transistor is similar to that of your NMOS encoding whereas the p type enhancement mode transistor it is a polysilicon crossing the p diffusion or p diffusion crossing a polysilicon 
So this is all the uh, color codes and notations what we are going to show for your CMOS encoding. Now let us proceed to the stick diagram. So stick diagrams uh, rules. Okay. So some of the rules are like whenever the two similar sticks cross one another that shows that there is an electrical contact. For example here the blue crossing blue that means it is having an electrical contact. Similarly here the polysilicon crossing the polysilicon that shows that there is an electrical contact. So when two or more sticks cross one another if you want to show some uh, connection then you need to maintain one uh, uh, contact cut uh, to have an electrical contact but if you if they are simply overlapping on one another that shows that there is no electrical contact it is simply overlapping so as coming to the transistor as already said that uh, polysilicon crossing the diffusion forms a transistor so this is an n type transistor and this is p type transistor that is p diffusion crossed by polysilicon and suppose if you are making an contact uh, with this polysilicon crossing the diffusions, then it is no way a transistor, it's simply a wire connection. Uh, rule number four says that uh, the CMOS a demarcation line is drawn to avoid touching of P diffusion and N diffusion. So this demarcation line is always used for between your pull up and pull down transistors. Now, if you see here, like we are taking the example of uh, example of uh, NMOS inverter so NMOS inverter okay uh, this okay, so no. the NMOS inverter is having a, a PMOS as well as NMOS so as I said the PMOS is a brown line crossing a polysilicon and NMOS is n efficient crossing a polysilicon as these two are connected to the input we are connecting using a polysilicon to the input and from the common point I am taking the output which is nothing but your X bar and as it is a CMOS circuit we are going to draw a demarcation line in the middle. Not only that one we can also draw the stick diagram in whatever the way we want but it should give a proper meaning and it should be reducing in size. So if you take uh, the uh, example of your uh, and MOS inverter using a depletion mode transistor in the pull up. So here I am using a pull up depletion mode transistor and MOS depletion mode transistor. So here again an end efficient crossing a polysilicon with implant it shows the depletion mode transistor and as the gate is connected to the output here also we are connecting it and below the in the pull down network we are having a an MOS enhancement mode transistor where my input is connected. Likewise, if you see some examples of stick diagrams, you can see this is a NAND gate. So for NAND gate, you will be having in the pull up, you will be having two PMOSs which are in parallel and uh, pull down, you will be having NMOSs which are in series. You can see the stick diagram, VDD and ground are given. Both the PMOSs are in parallel and uh, E and A of your PMOS and E of your NMOS is connected. And the pull down network, again, you can see here, a B which is in series with A in the pull down network and in the pull up network you can see A in with your A. <coughs> For an OR gate you can see that PMOSs are in series and NMOSs are in parallel this is a circuit so if you draw the stick diagram VDD and ground that is VSS. For pull up the transistors are in series for pull down the transistors are in parallel. Uh, likewise, if you want to design the same thing for using your depletion mode transistor, the pull up network can be replaced by a depletion mode transistor and pull down network will be same as that of your previous example. Now the first figure shows that it is a NOR gate a stick diagram, second figure shows the NAND gate stick diagram and here uh, one more example that F is equals to XY plus Z whole bar using NMOS transistor. In the pull up network, uh, if you want you can use the PMOSes but instead of using PMOSes I have used a NMOS depletion mode transistor that's why simply the stick diagram of NMOS uh, in the pull up network I am showing the NMOS depletion mode transistor uh, as a pull up and pull down the XY are in series and Z is in parallel. Likewise one more example we have here C in series with AB. So now C is in parallel with AB, okay, sorry, C is in series with AB 
and a and b are parallel a and b are parallel now coming to the pull down network a and b are in series now i'm showing a and b are in series where that a and b yeah a and b are in series and uh, the c is in parallel with eb this is how we are drawing the stick diagram so thank you for